Okay, so you just finished honors chemistry and you're thinking, wow, that was pretty easy. Let me try some higher level chemistry. Well, let me just tell you that you probably hate yourself. But since you do have a little love for yourself, you decided to take IB chemistry. I can honestly say that IB chemistry has been one of my favorite classes this year. And I'm very glad I chose this class over AP. While there are many sleepless nights stressing over the only eight tests you will have this year, you will share so many memories with your classmates, and because they're the only ones that understand your pain, you're going to love it. Your best friends this year will be your IB chemistry textbook, Richard Thornley, the dude who makes awesome chemistry videos that will save you more than once, and your study guide book. There's also this thing called the IB exam, which is what you're preparing for all year and this may decide whether you get your diploma or certificate. No pressure, right? Or you could be one of those crazy IB groupies like me and just take the course for fun. 15% of that exam is the IA. It will be your baby and you'll spend every day for three weeks just experimenting. And then another four to five days just in analyzing and writing those 12 pages on that one experiment. I honestly just knew, I honestly wish I just knew how to write an IA before I came to this class, but just ask people who took the class in the past and pay attention to the rubric. There's also a section in the textbook on AAs, which also really helps. And make sure to pick a topic that's interesting and actually you care about, because that's what you're going to be doing for the three weeks in February. And like I said before, you only have about eight tests in the year, so you have to make them count. Ms. McKee's notes were really concise without leaving anything important out, but it's still not enough. You have to read that textbook. Try reading the textbook like a story. It kind of helps, but you know, it's still chemistry. And they have all these little key facts and tips for success that are all there just to help you. And if you still don't get something, your boy Richard probably has already made a video about it. And to sum everything up, your study guide will give you a perfect cram session in only a couple of pages. And don't rely on that just for your test, because it's probably not going to work. And since you're an ID chem, you also have the opportunity to form a little family with the class that you have. And so there's, there's only one of you guys per year, you're going to end up like a family. You're going to hear about all the things that AP kids don't have to do, like uncertainty, but you know it's all going to be worth it in the end. And that bond you share with that little family is going to stay for a very long time. And together, you're going to share so many chemistry puns, the electromagnetic spectrum song, and last but not least, and last and certainly not least, the Adele Butter Dance. And at the end of the year, you're going to look back and think, wow, I didn't regret a single thing, and you might actually want to go through it all again.